uh, hello. This is going to be a video on my strategy for the Obelisk Blue Speedrun category for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Um, I just wanted to put a video out there just because, I don't know, I feel like the way I do it is completely different from what anyone else would do. So I just kind of wanted to show off my ideas. Uh, this is just going to be a video, it's not going to be like time splits, but uh, hopefully what I do makes sense. I'm going to try to like comment it on what I do and why I do it and my overall thoughts. I think the way I do it is a little risky, but there's a lot of reward in it too. So let's just get started. Uh, I'm going to speed through like the beginning part of the game because there's no point in like doing it as a speed run just because this is just an example. I don't really care to like follow basic rules. So I'm just going to do like, I'm just going to try to explain exactly how I would do it. So I would look at the tutorials like usual. So I would look at the uh, spell tutorial and the equips pack tutorial. I think that's solid. And then I'll move on to buy cards on Saturday. So I'm just going to let the game run. Um, not much to say. You're just kind of setting up what you're going to buy later. So I won't say anything for a bit. <clears throat> it's just me clearing my throat. This is just holding the R button and speed button. <laughs> Not much to say here. Alright. So, I the first thing I do is go straight to the shop. I don't like change any settings. Um, I change the settings after I buy packs, but... The first thing I do is buy three packs of Spell Collection 2. The only cards I want in Spell Collection 2 are Heavy Storm and Mystical Space Typhoon. I don't want to have to buy a bunch of cards for those. Heavy Storm isn't that rare in this pack, you just kind of want to get really lucky. I have it planned where later, if you don't get either card, you could buy this again, but... I just buy three of that just to get heavy. I buy seven of this because there's just a myriad of good cards here. Smashing Ground, Shield Crash, the Nobleman cards, a lot of good stuff. Plus. I buy this a lot a little bit later to unlock Spell Special 1, which I'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, and then I buy 7 of this guy. Um, this gets you the Searcher. This can get you a lot of rare cards too, like Snatch Deal, Premature Burial. It can get you Giant Trune, a lot of good stuff. So I think this is the best way to do it. And this, these are my ratios. And so the way, if you do it like this, you'll be left with 1160 DP. And with that, I have a plan where <clears throat> after one duel, um, you buy another pack. Um, and then now I just change the settings. Um, I guess one of the more important ones to mention was that I, I changed the confirm activation setting. Um, and so one thing I do, I think that's different that you probably haven't seen anyone do. Uh, I need to switch decks. <laughs> deck mode. I use the water deck. Um, I don't use the wind deck. And my goal is just going to be to make the best water deck I can go through the game effectively. Um, so one thing I do that's really different that you won't see is I set timing. Um, I use Book of Moon. Now Book of Moon is, it would be really slow conventionally with just the basic game settings because um, you would just act, it would ask you to activate it constantly. But I have it where the only time it really asks you to activate it is when an attack is declared. I'm so, I mean, the game's going to naturally ask you to like chain cards. So it's like, whenever you activate a spell, it's going to ask you to chain if you have Book of Moon in your hand. But the only other situation I have it act, ask you to, to, to activate is when an attack is declared. That's going to like make it a little bit easier to use, and I think that's a good way to do it. Book of Moon can do things no other card can do for you, so I use Book of Moon. Um, if I had Axe of Despair, I would have uh, added it. I think you can get Axe of Despair in Basic 2A, but I didn't, I didn't get it. 
you you hope to get some kind of red card in 2A, but you won't get every single thing you could. It's just you hope to get something good. Um, so the next card I look for is Giant Trunade. And my strategy is that I would use two Giant Trunade if I didn't get heavy. If I did get heavy, I'd probably just use one. Uh, and I got heavy, awesome. So I'm probably gonna take out um, Giant Trunade. I add just about any copy of Malevolent Nuzz that I have just because it makes things a little bit stronger, it's good. Uh, let's see. Oh, I, I guess I should have just said this initially. I make things alphabetical and I search. I think if you look at other runs, they just kind of scroll through the cards as they are. I've made it where I know exactly what I want to search for and I make it alphabetical and I hold the, the B button and I just scroll through really fast to go just straight to what I wanted to check out. So there, I just wanted to see if I had MST. I don't have it. I have one cross out, two extermination. That's okay. Um, let's see, I'd search to see if I have Premature. I don't think I got it, that's fine. Um, let's see, Shield Crash or Smashing Ground is next. I hope I can make like a little annotation or something, like a little list of like what I look for. Snatch Steel is good. And then one thing I do is um, I scroll down to Upstart and I press, well I press uh, L. I press it, I have certain settings on the emulator I'm using but I press L just to take it out really fast. Um, since I have heavy, I guess I'll just scroll up and get rid of a uh, giant true name. You can only need one if you have heavy yourself. So. Now I scroll all the way back to like the lower levels and I add basically four cards. I add copycat just because I like copycat. I usually take it out pretty fast, but I like copycat. Um, Exiled Force, um, I think is decent. Next cards I add is like Magician of Faith and Lester Dragon. Those are just good cards. I think Magician of Faith is worth running just because abusing some spell is helpful. Um, I add any copies of Mother Grizzly I have. Just had one. And Sasuke Samurai is the last card I add. I kind of want to explain how I go about removing cards. Um, I have it kind of set where I know at least eight cards I'm going to take out at any time. So I know that I'm going to take out two Amphibian Beast and one Death Frog. I'm gonna take out Ocean Dragon Lord. I'll probably take out Levia Dragon if I don't get another a Legendary Ocean, but that's how that goes. I take out these two equips, and I take out two traps in the gate attack and Spiritual Water Art. So that's what I would do regardless. You know, every time I play this game, if I'm just resetting or whatever, I know I'm taking out those eight cards. Now the next eight are just dependent on like how many cards I've added. So I added like, I, well I had 56 at the end of me adding cards. So I know that I want to take out about eight lower levels. And I guess I can like, I'll probably put a little annotation of a list of lower levels that I try to, that I look to get rid of usually. Um, so let's see. Uh, I'll probably take out Sinister Serpent, Island Turtle, Aquamador, uh, let's see, Gora Turtle, easy. I'll probably take out Gale Lizard too, but I'll, I'll check that out. Um, Gale Lizard, and let's see, I'll take out Amphibious, and that'll be the deck I use. So I, I'm at 40, I always wanna end at 40. I think running something over 40 is just unoptimal, because you're gonna, regardless of how this one goes, you're gonna be running cards that aren't that great, so. To have like a really bulky deck full of bad cards isn't, isn't good. So after I just edit the deck, I just scroll over and go to Harbor. Now it's important to have a duel and win at Harbor because that's the only way you can unlock the Residence of the Sea pack. And Residence of the Sea is kind of like the key here. So you initially buy a bunch of packs just because they they give you just generic good cards, but you really want to buy Residence of the Sea and hope that you get good cards from that so that you can make a good water deck. And with off a good water deck, you can presumably, you know, speed through the game. Um, there's more potential to that, but like, the water pack, you don't always get good cards. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I summon giant red sea snake there just cause, say he snatched steals or something, like, I can roll over it, like Luster or Granadora. He summon Kaiser Glider, holy shit. I don't see that often. Um, I got a Yomi ship that, I guess. Uh, or I hope he doesn't. Yeah. 
You shouldn't, unless he summons like a Luster Dragon or uh, whatever. I should be fine. Oh, I can copycat. Huh. Okay, whatever. I think setting Yomi ship is a little, um, little risky. I can just black pit it. I don't care. And then what'll happen is Kaiser Glider will bounce me back to the hand. I'll have plays. Copycat's really decent if the opponent summons a big card like fucking Kaiser Glider. <laughs> <laughs> Or I, I could have like suicided into like Flame Wing Man if he just summoned that thing. Um, so I like Copycat for those situations, but on average it, it won't really come up. Um, so yeah. Uh, I guess I could probably summon... I could probably summon... I want to make Aqua Spirit live, so I'll summon Yummy Ship. I could have summoned Copycat on attack to get a 1900, but it doesn't matter. So yeah. Hopefully he can just summon and destroy Yomi's ship and I can use Aqua Spirit and go ham. Okay, cool. Um, I will summon Muster Dragon. I don't have any equips, so I'm not going to be able to take a lot of damage, but that's how it is. Really, for, so for this first duel of Jaden, I mean, Jaden isn't that hard. I think if you look at speedruns, they try to take on Saris 10 times. Because that's, that's the condition. You need 10 wins to get to Rai Yellow and then to, um, go against uh, Chaz. But, oh, I think I win if he doesn't set anything. I can summon up the Spirit and then summon up. Cool. That was really easy. I'm going to set Book of Moon since it would prompt if I, um, if I just attacked. And I also held the R button when summoning Aqua Spirit, just because it made that a little bit faster too. Um, and you, I, I usually try to get the most damage I can. So if I, if I can summon more stuff just to get a little more DP, I would. But I think that's the most I could inflict to win this turn. Um, this went pretty good, about 10 turns. Uh, not, I hope I'm not confusing anyone <laughs> by how I'm, I'm doing this. But So now I just go to sleep, just because like... Since my goal is to buy Residents of the Sea on a Saturday, I'm going to sleep and waste a week, basically. I'm going to hope that I can get good cards. And um, I think if you see other runs, you'll see them just try to find Cyrus on the weekends and duel him over and over again. What I do is I, um, I schedule mail with him. So that, that, I think scheduling mail is a little smarter of an option, to be honest, that rather than just like searching for him. So yeah. So here I'm just going to buy Residents of the Sea, I'm going to hope that I can get good cards. Um, I didn't see anything there, but it's really RNG based, so you really want, like, you really hope to get another Legendary Ocean, but you probably won't get it. Yeah, that's how it is. Uh, I add Acid, there's one thing I really wanted to bring up. I think Acid Rain is 100% worth running. It destroys all machine type monsters, it's basically Raigeki if you fight Cyrus. And the goal is, my goal here is just going to be to go against Cyrus um, nine more times to get to ten wins, so let's see. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through my card list, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the R button just to see, rather than like searching for these cards, I'm going to see if I just naturally get them. So I got a second Umi Ruka, that's okay. So what I do is if I don't get another Legendary Ocean, I take out Levia, and I take out Terra King, and I, I leave Giga just because Giga is a good attack. and. Tribute Monster isn't so bad to, to use. Um, so I'm just going to press R just to see if I got more copies of these cards. The 1800 Beat Sticks are good. Let me see if I got more Mother Grizzly. Nope. No Aqua Spirits. No Yomi Ships. I wouldn't want another Granador. I got another Fenrir, that's good. I didn't get anything, damn. <laughs> If I get another Fenrir, I take out Aqua Spirit, so that's that. Now, what I, all I do is manually search for three more cards, and, um... Gaga Gigo, um... I search for, um... Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, that's one. I search for Tribe Infecting Virus, that's a good card to have. I didn't get that, so I didn't get anything, damn. I was really unlucky. Um, let's see, I don't know what to take out. I guess Penguin Soldier. I don't really like Penguin Soldier. I think it's the game goes slower if you depend on Penguin Soldier. It's a good card, but like setting Penguin Soldier and having to bounce a bunch of crap is just slow. So now what I do is I, I just man now for 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 Saturday I manually find Cyrus just because I want 
two wins against Cyrus. Um, so the way I see it, um, you basically want at least 300 from any given duel you have. So presumably if you can get 300, you can add at least like 600 um, DP, and then you'll have 700, around 700 to buy equips on Tuesday. So that's kind of what I want to do. That's okay. Going to run into it. Okay. Sometimes if the, the AI will read that it can't run over something by battle and it just won't attack at all. So, um, let's see. I guess I'll just attack with the enemy ship. Uh, suicide into it or bait something. Okay. Uh, so what his card does not um, chain against attacks. Uh, set. Let's see. I don't care. I have answers if he snatch steals. So his card did not stop my summon either, so that's good. So it probably stops like a spell. It's probably like a limiter or something. This is gonna be big core. Graceful. The game plays Graceful Charity and Pot Agree back to back so often it's ridiculous. Um so let's see. I guess I can heavy Well I know he has um I'll save heavy. What I'll do is I'll just smash in ground. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just attack his set. I wanna I wanna use heavy storm when he like has more cards. So um, I guess I'll shield crash and attack. I feel like I sh should have held on to shield crash, but whatever. Um, oh, why did I do that? Uh, that was dumb. Whatever. I'm not gonna use Malevolent since I have Heavy Storm. I should have just set Maiden and then, you know, chilled, but whatever. Maiden's okay, but like, Maiden, Maiden's effect is that it, it's treated as Umi if there's no field spell on the on the field, but since there's a field spell, it doesn't matter, so. Uh, Gig is good. Gig is good here. Um, I use Acid Rain, I guess, just because I can presumably do work, um, so I'll attack with seven color and hopefully I don't run into something dumb. Cool. I'll attack with Giga. So I have heavy, which is amazing here, so I feel like I'm gonna win next turn, especially with Malevolent, like I'm gonna win next turn. Well, maybe not. I need to draw a monster. Okay. Magician of Faith. Uh, Malevolent would make 32. I could get exact. If I'm lucky. I think I could get it exact. No, that's 31 on. Huh? It's only 34. Damn. Magician of Faith. <laughs> oh well. I'll be pretty close next turn. I, I can reuse heavy with Magician of Faith now, so I can win. Okay. Oh, I can use Shield Crash. Hold R for the prompt. Shield Crash. And the game runs like stupid flip effects like Penguin Soldier, so it's important to like utilize your cards as well against like set monsters. I want some DP, so I'm gonna attack with Giga, even if it takes slightly longer. I could attack with Magician, Magician of Faith, then Giga, but whatever. Um. Okay, find Cyrus one more time. Okay, this is an all right. This is an all right hand. You gotta, if you wanna like, setting something isn't smart against Cyrus just cause the way Drillroid works in this game, it'll negate the effects of defense position monsters it destroys so if you like set mother grizzly like see like if i set mother grizzly he would have negated the effect and so i wouldn't get a search so that would have been dumb so um let's see i want to look at my hand i don't know what i'm looking at um in rear smashing ground i can smash in ground and nobleman but uh i'll just get mother grizzly again i like that play a little bit better Well, the Nidoran Ocean. Set. Um, let's see. 
So I guess I can play a Legendary Ocean. Um, suicide Mother Grizzly. And then some something else. Fenrir, I don't have two waters. Um, I'll put this in defense. I'll just put that in defense and then I'll attack twice. Well, I can only attack once. That's another glitch of this game. If So Mermaid Knight is kind of like the key here. I really wanted multiple Mermaid Knight. And um, like if you can have three Mermaid Knight, which is a double attack with Umi on the, f on the field, then I'll put like an equip on it. You'll inflict a ton of damage consistently. Um, that's kind of the point. If you can like say, if I can get something like United We Stand, that's just genius. Because United We Stand plus Mermaid Knight is like game so easily, so. I'll just chill, I guess. I, w I really want to summon Fenrir, but. Hmm. Whatever. Let's see. Will Black Pendant get negated? Nope. I'll have to hope for Nomir. Yay! It was not mirror, it was not. So what the hell is that card? Black Pendant, I guess? He can set his own Black Pendant, which is dumb. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that mechanic or however you want to call it. The setting Black Pendant, just, it just confuses you. <laughs> you have to wonder what it is and bait cards and, yeah. Okay. So I, I hope I can just, you know, destroy this thing. Well, I guess I'll attack with Fenrir. Just get just in case it's something dumb, but it, it I don't really need Fenrir's effect, which Fenrir when it destroys something by battle, um, it negates the draw phase, which is pretty sick. I like running two Fenrir. Um, I really like running two Fenrir. Uh, I'll attack with Maiden because it's a little bit more. So yeah, multiple Fenrir, multiple Mermaid are how you want to do this game. I didn't really need to attack with Fenrir since its effect is kind of. Uh, not that significant, but it's, a, it's whatever. I'm kind of nitpicking. I go to sleep here, and then I want to set up duels via mail. I think this is a good way to um, go through the game, to be honest. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up five duels. Um, I set up five just because I intend... I, I don't intend, but I if I lose one, I'll at least have like you know, four wins hopefully, and then I'll have some DP for next week, so, yeah. And so I set these up after I'd go to, um, to the shop, and what's gonna happen is that I'll edit the deck before I start these duels on Tuesdays, Tuesday and Wednesday, so. Ideally, you have a better deck for, uh, when you go against Cyrus, so that's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the point. I'm, 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 I'm trying to have the best deck possible and get enough DP um, so that you know I can go through them the fastest way. So now I'm just going to spend all my money. It's planned to have at least 700 here, but I have like a thousand, so I'm going to spend 10. I got Mage Power, that's pretty good. Um, it just so happens that a little mail thing happens here. I'd press enter if I had to, but a little mail thing happens. Um, and now I can edit my deck. Let's see. So I put in Big Bang Shot usually. Only one, only need one. Um, let's see if I got another Malevolent. Uh, Malevolent, number two. I'm gonna check my little notes here to see if there's anything else I need to do. Mage Power is the only other card, I guess. So where is Mage? Right here. I don't think I got anything else, so let's see what two cards do I take out. Uh, I take out, um, I don't know, I guess maybe like Exiled Force and uh, Salvage. Those are cards that can be dead pretty easily, so. Alright. Let's see, do I have two Shield Crash or one? This, this is probably a waste of time, but... <laughs> I'm just concerned. Um, whatever, I didn't intend to do that. Let's just beat Cyrus if I can. Mm. Three back, oh damn. 
Let's see if I can get negated here. There we go. Uh, red. Attack. So he doesn't have turn shot. Okay. No, so he doesn't have anything that can miss that much. Do we have Call on it? Nope. Um, those could very well be two Black Pender. <laughs> they could be two Black Pender. Okay. Um, there we go. Um, I'll just set the condition of faith, I guess. I'll activate Umi Ruka. Maybe he has a second. Maybe. Yeah, he had a j second jammer. Yeah, everyone runs two jammer. It's a staple everywhere. I'll set an additional faith, attack the Koichi, and then... Another little thing I can mention now is that what, what you want to do is just make things a little faster, is you want to you wanna play all your cards main phase 1, then have your battle phase, then end. There's not much of a reason to have main phase 2 a lot of the time. I mean, you'll probably see me still, um, still use my main phase 2 a lot of the... for whatever reason, if I'm just not thinking, but... Ideally, you want to um, you want to basically do your battle phase and end every turn. That's probably the fastest way to go about a duel. Oh, he's gonna attack me? Did not attack me. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I'll summon Maiden. So hopefully next turn I can summon Mermaid and then like do stuff. There's no spell I can really add here. Nope. I'll just summon. Get my double attack on. Okay, so that's 3,000. It's like 37. That's pretty good. Hopefully, I can just. He doesn't play anything dumb. The game hasn't snatched stolen me yet, which is surprising. You usually get snatched stolen a few times. <laughs> okay. Alright then. Be pretty simple. Um Gyroid. Awesome, I have him for mate. That's gonna win the game still. It's built its text. I was hoping for something like not Penguin Soldier or Man Eater. <laughs> Man Eater would have been terrible, but you know. So, I don't know how long I've been doing this. My plan's basically. I don't know how long this is gonna go. If I take a loss, I don't know if I'm just gonna end it or whatever, but my plan's basically once I get 10 wins on Cyrus and the exam hits, I'll stop and make another video, like a part two or something. Um, so yeah, Maybe Storm. I, I want Mother Grizzly to survive. I don't want to get near first. Damn it. Well, he didn't open any back row. He would have said something else if he had it, so. Let's see what this is. The Let's see. Power and Luka. I'm in an okay spot, I guess. Don't car distract. Podigree and Graceful, same turn every time. Steamoid's fine. Limiter, awesome. It's not gonna win the game with that limiter, so. Let's see, I'll just get Starboy. It's also good to hold R when cards are chained. Like holding R, you basically want to hold R always when playing this game. Um, so I guess what I'll do is I'll just set everything and play Mage. 
And if he has Snatch, I'll just book a move in my 7 color, and hopefully he just attacks Star Boy, and I still have 7 color to use. So. You always want to have some counter for Snatch GL. That's why I love Book of Moon. It's so flexible. It can stop all sorts of cards. It's helpful in a lot of different situations. Okay. Nope. Hopefully Starboy can destroy this thing. Malevolent Nuzlar. I'm going to use Malevolent Nuzlar on Starboy. Um, just so I have a better chance of rolling over whatever comes. Please don't be something annoying. Please be Bokoichi or something. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, that, I had Shield Crash. That was dumb. That was a misplay. <laughs> I didn't need to do anything there. I had Shield Crash. Now he's going to top something. The misplay. That's why I'm still testing because I don't like when I misplay like that. No. I hate when I misplay. That's. Okay, now I can Shield Crash and go for the win. Okay, no chain. Just gonna attack with uh, seven colored and win. Whew, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, that's a decent, decent little back throw. The air flush off the bat, okay. Let's see. Um, if you play Droid, you're not a nice person. <laughs> okay. Alright then, whatever. I'll summon giant red. So I already got rid of Mirror Force. If I run into a uh, magic summoner, it's fine. The gate attack. All this defense, making the game go longer. I could have tributed for. Um, Giga and then attack with Fenrir, but whatever. He's gonna get a draw. So hopefully he does, if he has any troll cards, he'll use it now. And then I can do stuff next turn. I have my own Snatch Steel and Umi Ruka, that's good. So I have some place. Pretty much sure. The tribute. Attack Yomi, suicide himself. Yay, limiter. <laughs> One less card I have to worry about. Damn, two sets. I wanted to summon stuff, but um, I know I can't. I'll just, I'll get rid of Magic Jammer. Yeah, discard a card. Get that damage in. So the most he could do is Magic Cylinder, I think. Or I don't know if he wants two negate attacks. Cylinder. All right. So he just set two back row. So I know he doesn't have. I know that left. Well, the one he has isn't um, torrential. So okay. Um, I will summon Giga in case it's something stupid like Penguin Soldier. Awesome in Fenrir. I really want to win this turn, so I'll attack with um, Luster. Luster can definitely roll over whatever he has. So. Okay, cool. Attack with Fenrir and Giga for game. It wasn't so bad. A lot of he drew a lot of his defensive cards, but whatever. This game is so RNG based. It really is. You really hope that they don't draw like anything. <laughs> And I haven't been snatched. Have I been snatched stolen yet? That's amazing. I don't know. 
I've in in testing I always get snatched stolen at least three or four times by now. <laughs> It's the most dangerous card. If there's any, if there's a reason why this category is annoying, it's because they always draw a snatch deal. That's just not happening. Um, I don't know what to play. I don't. I don't, I don't play any of these cards. Go right. Okay. Copycat. That's all right. I'll summon Starboy, I guess. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Torrential. Got rid of his negate attack. He only runs one negate attack. With Nobleman, like, because it banishes all copies from the deck, it would banish multiple copies of the negate attack if you had it, so. Gyroid. Oh, Limiter, thank you. I don't have to deal with that card. Let's see, what will I summon? Um, Sasuke is probably my best bet. Man, I wish I had another water, but Sasuke is my best bet. I, I do run two shield crash. I don't really like running like two shield crash um, and like cross outs. If I had like two cross outs, I wouldn't even run shield crash. I only like like a ratio of two for things like that. It's kind of how I like it though. Okay, cool. If it's something annoying, I guess I'm gonna go over it. Storm, I don't have any card to play, damn. <laughs> I could have just used. I should have used a shield crash, even though it's just 500. But whatever. I don't know what I want to do. I guess I'll have to copycat. Hope he summons something decent, and then malevolent my copycat. That's okay. I can get a 1900 out of that. And then I have multiple shield crashes in case he just starts setting bullshit. Okay. Um, I'll just summon Granadora by itself. Hope he doesn't tap anything. Okay. I have multiple shield crashes, malevolent. I'm in an okay spot. Okay, cool. I drew for your... I'll set copycat just in case he draws something dumb. If you draw a snatch steel, then at least I have some defense for it. And I can um, fissure my door and then take a bunch of burn. Draw a monster. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of monsters I can top. That'd be really great here. Heavy. Oh. Droid. Awesome. That's not bad. That's actually the exact game, I think. Because I get, I get their attack, right? Sweet. <laughs> That's exact, I think. Shouts out to Copycat. Okay, this is the last duel of this little run. This is taking some time, but whatever. Opening ALO is always good. Alright. So I could shield crash now, but uh, I have two, I might as well just use one now. Yeah. Here we go. Card Destruct. Hate that card. Hate Card Destruction with a passion. My hand wasn't even that stellar, but I, I had, he, he described my ALO, which is always annoying. But. I can't Magician of Faith, that's good. Eight. Um, see, I probably should have just um, set Magician of Faith in main one, but I just didn't think of that. Bang shot. Um, whatever. Quite she getting his draws. Attack. Ah. 
Oh, he attacks Mother Grizzly. That's funny. Yep. Give him a second, Mother Grizzly, I guess. There's none other really played. Any other play I really want to do. And it's the Tarantula, so I'm the Magician of, Magician of Fate's gone. But he loses advantage, so whatever. Malevolent Nestler. Let's see. I'll do this. Um. Trap hole. Summon Maiden. If he doesn't have a monster, but a Snatch Deal, he'll use that. If he does have a monster, hopefully he can summon it and I can trap hold it. And then go ham. Okay. He uses Torrential, which is good. Um, summon Maiden, I guess. I can, I can destroy it at least. This card does not stop summons or attacks, which is good. I guess I will. There we go. It's probably it could be seven tools. Good. All right. So it's probably magic jammer, black pendant. So I guess I'll use big bang shot first. Yep, now he's malevolent. I don't know if that's 12, that's 25. Oh, it's 20, that's, um, this. It's 25 plus 3. That's 55, yes. <laughs> it's just almost exact. Okay. His duels went okay. The RNG wasn't all that bad. It's kind of slow, but I don't know. I'm not trying to go absolutely, absolutely as fast as I can. So, all right. So the next thing I want to do is definitely. Um, I'm not gonna do all this weekend, but I'm gonna try to find Chaz. I think it's important to find Chaz's little question mark before you get into Rye Yellow, because. Um, ah, Bastion. I was unlucky. That's a waste of time. You don't do a bashing at all. There he is. So you want to find Chaz before you get into Royale, just because that's one less, that's one less time you have to waste. It's it's really RNG based when trying to find Chaz when you get into Royale. Um, I mean, I might not even get to it. Who knows? Um, so now I set duels. I'm gonna set duels. Uh, Tuesday after um, Tuesday after I buy cards so yeah and uh, so I have eight wins so far um, I only need to make two more to get to ten wins but I set a third one a lot of the time just so that if I lose either of those duels then it's run over since I can't get to ten um, get to ten wins um, very easily so so now I want to complete spell. I want to get to up to about 90% spell collection that's not bad I want to get up to about 90% so what I do is spend like four I want to buy this pack like a lot and I got there good spell special one has a, a really dumb card that I'll point out if I can get to it um, so let's see I search here just to see if I got any more uh, noblements. That's about it. Got another cross out. And that's about it. So I'll take out the shield crash. And, um, yeah. That's about it. Okay. I guess I can set some color if I have trap hold. It's annoying if he, he draws like premature or something, but it, it is what it is. Card destruct. So the fact that he summoned that thing, that's the only thing he could summon. He doesn't even attack because the AI reads that, you know, he wouldn't do anything. 
Yeah, Fogoid. That's a little bit annoying. Not so bad. Let's see. I'll flip. Does not have Torrential. I'll uh, end it. Magic Gem. Sweet. So now I only have one other card to bait out. I'll attack the um, 300 thing since I don't want to thin his deck out. And the gate attack. Awesome. Not bad, not bad. Um, I will set Maiden to end. Sets all this stuff. I really don't want him to get a search off, so what I'll do is um, big bang shot, I guess. Pierce through his weak little 300 thing. I'm in a really good spot. Big Bang Shot's worth running, just to say. Acid Rain and Big Bang Shot are completely completely worth running. Both both those cards put in work, so I will just end. Okay. I'll fissure. And I'll summon Giga and just go ham, hopefully. Hopefully I can just pierce, hopefully set something that's really weak. I can just pierce through it real fast. Yay, he hasn't set anything like Penguin Soldier, which is amazing. Um, it's not a game, but close. And I can, if he just sets a monster, I win. Or if, actually, the only card that he could play that would be really terrible is Snatch Deal. I, and any, any other card I can win. Good, I have not been Snatch Stolen at all. This is amazing. <laughs> I don't understand how I don't get snatched stolen 50 times before getting to the dual exam, but whatever. That's very lucky. <laughs> this is going pretty smoothly though. Like it's kind of how I intended it for a bit for it to, to go. So. so I'm probably gonna wrap this up after this duel. Because I don't I don't wanna like have like a super long two hour video. So I'd I'd rather have something that's around 40 minutes, 40, 50 minutes or so and have another 40 or 50 minute video. So yeah. Um, I do not know what I want to do. I don't want to play any of these cards. I don't want to like summon Luster and get snatched on. I don't want to summon Mermaid and ALO and yeah. Okay. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, I guess I'll Luster. And I can save all my other cards. I, I really do not. If there's any any hair that I don't want to get card destructed, is a hang with Mermaid Knight and a Legendary Ocean and Smashing Ground for insurance. Like <laughs> that'd be really awful if um if he plays Snatch Deal. Well, not Snatch Deal, card destruct. These cards are all fine. I don't really care. Damn, all these powerful ass spells. <laughs> that's another thing that's weird with this game. It'll it'll play. Um, do I have game? I really don't think I have game. <laughs> Burbay Knight and a couple of quips is usually like you can inflict a lot of damage. So I do not think I have game. Let me do this carefully. I don't think I have game. There we go. 52. Yeah, I have game. Yes. <laughs> Mermaid Knight. That's 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 what I, how I want this deck to go. I want to get Mermaid Knight really fast. I want to get an Umi or a Legendary Ocean really fast and just win instantly. That's kind of really what I really want to do. That's the ideal. But I don't I only have one Mermaid Knight, so that's not super great. And then I can I'm just going to surrender this one since I won all my games. This is just this is completely insurance in case you lose. Because you just do not want the run to be over if you lose one of those Tuesday duels. So I'd rather take the time to have a whole other duel where I just surrender and make sure that the, the run can keep going. So. Surrender, and then I'll wrap this up right when it gets to the exam. So. All 
All right, so I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna make another video of how the rest of the run would go.